So earlier uh, in the sort of documentation, this was all mentioned and uh, if you are not able to find the old documentation, you can refer this code and uh, create your payload. Okay. So first we need to prepare our payload. Since the in-key transaction processor we have over here doesn't need to any, have any payload, we can simply create any payload we want. Okay. So this payload could be like, just me to create a uh, like a buffer byte array i'm gonna create payload bytes buffer from payload okay this is all needed for that now okay to in a sort to transaction uh, there is like number of parameters involved to create a batch so i'm, I'm going to list down list those out okay so first we are going to need a payload that payload needs to be put in a transaction okay then this transaction has to be put in a transaction list then this transaction list will be put in a batch finally this batch will be put in a batch list and uh, byte format then to the rest api okay so this whole process has to be done for a single transaction so next step is to create a transaction header and uh, this transaction header is to indicate what's the payload size who is going to sign the payload and transaction so so we are going to prepare a transaction header and uh, the library that we are going to use is from protobuf so this protobuf can be imported from sort of sdk slash protobuf okay uh, in this protobuf we got transaction Header encode this payload. Okay, this payload should contain family name and uh, inputs that will be involved as an array outputs out of this transaction. Sign the property uh, indicating who is going to send the transaction. And uh, we also have to have a nonce. Okay. Could be a random number. Uh, we are going to use the same credential to sign the batch also. Then, if we have any dependencies like external other families that needs to be involved in the transaction like uh, we can reference other transaction families also uh, that can be mentioned over here and uh, finally a uh, sha code uh, indicating the so we are going to create hash sha byte byte array update our payload and make it to x format okay so now our code is ready but we need to fill these values also okay so we'll come back to that later so we have received an error uh, with some code for okay so we are returning string over here and uh, the string should, should be passed as a buffer okay that's that's the requirement so we should pass this string from x to buffer again okay so to do that i'm going to pass the hex string and what's the source format um, it's not working again okay and uh, the family name is going to be int key okay version is going to be 1.0 from here we should uh, create a transaction okay now we have the transaction header the next step is to create a transaction with the same protobuf okay so our header is transaction header bytes header signature is going to be coming from the, the uh, this transaction header byte has to be signed using our key okay um, so 
signer will be doing that signer sign the payload transaction header payload okay then we got the payload as payload bytes now our transaction is ready so then we are going to create transactions list which will be like just one transaction for now then from there we have to create a batch sorry so before we create a batch we need to create a batch header also so for that we need to use the similar like the transaction header there is a batch header sign our public key same thing then we need the transaction ids which is just going to be the header signatures from the transaction list okay so for the transaction ids is going to be uh, next thing we are going to do is like a like we did over here we are creating a transaction we need to create a batch so to create a batch i'm going to create one more variable called batch prototype of dot batch dot create so this batch creation will need the similar header okay so batch header bytes and we need to sign this using the uh, like we need to sign this header uh, using the public key okay so signer is going to sign the batch header files bytes then finally we need to send the transactions okay so to do that i'm going to create one more variable called batches okay so this will just contain the batch after that i'm going to create a batch list byte okay so it's going pretty long so far okay so in a simple transaction we have to do a lot of steps so proto buff dot batch list dot encode So I missed one part. Okay, when we are encoding, we should we all we should do this finish. Okay, I missed it over here. And uh, there is one more place. Okay, so the encode should finish all the time. Okay, so we got a final batch byte. We'll see what's in the value actually. Okay, so batch bytes to string okay so test me is our payload and uh, the rest of the things are signatures and uh, which transaction family to hit okay which version to hit all those things are as part of the payload the next thing we have to do is forward this transaction to pay api okay, and to do this i now want to do axios okay so we'll check if the axios is working okay, axios default it should be Axios dot post request to the HTTP endpoint for the HTTP API. Okay, so we are going to hit batches endpoint with uh, our payload being the batch list bytes, and uh, our header is going to be mentioning this. This is a content type of our uh, .NET stream. Okay, okay, so opt at string okay so more from protobuf not decodable why 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 so to wrap up i have made some mistakes while writing the code also uh, having some configuration related issues so i'll uh, give what uh, what was those issues while i was developing okay so first thing was like uh, I was having a duplicate transaction processor running in the same version. So whatever the payload we were sending, this one was handling and was throwing us the invalid transaction and invalid output error. Okay. And uh, next thing that we have, uh, 
identify it is like the spelling mistake with the batcher publicly and uh, third thing that was wrong is like I was not sending the batch bytes properly in the payload okay uh, finally uh, another thing that I have made issue is this address list okay. uh, was like different when we are submitting the transaction to the transaction processor okay, that was running on Python okay so now our whatever we submit the block is getting submitted as well okay and uh, the output as you can see 100 values being set and it's in a readable format because the value I'm passing over in the set method is just a string 